Hi Capricorn, how are you? Be my lady. That's a song, right? Ta -na -na -na, ta -na -na -na. I don't know. I like to sing. Okay. <laughs> so it's the 28th is the last day for the webinar. I'm gonna be live. Alright, so make sure you, you check it out in the in the description box. And then what else? Uh, um there's a secret app that I use for astrology, but it's a secret, so I will not tell you where it is, but it is in the description box. And do not download it because it's a secret. Okay. You and the other person, okay, here and there, you can do a switcheroo, meaning you can reverse it. And cross watchers, you are more than welcome to um, enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Okay. One second here. Let's see what's up with you guys. Mm -hmm. You ready? I feel like we're ready. Ooh, the devil. <laughs> is okay, Capricorn. Is okay. Is the first card is you. So this is you <laughs> in a codependent relationship. <laughs> That's the devil. Okay. Now hold on because remember in your read I always remove the devil as you because it's not fair, right? So only the people who gets lovers is Gemini? No. Okay. So let's just call it first that you are coming to the reading right now. Very strong, very, very strong. You're here, you want to learn. You want to know about what the what, how the situation is going, whether it's toxic or not. You just want to know the truth. Hmm. So let's call the devil someone who's seeking the truth because this is your card. Okay. And then we'll see. Okay. Because it's easy for us to jump right away with the... You know. But remember, 78 cards and your card come out. Mm -hmm. The Magician. Okay, so it's not looking promising. <laughs> because... The magician with the devil. Um, this is someone who appears to be, okay, this is how it works, doing everything possible to manifest a relationship regardless good or bad. Magician with the devil shows someone that can manipulate energy, can manipulate the situation. I do not use the, you know, the black, you know, word no not that word okay not about ethnicity the occultist word you know the black m okay i don't use that word but this is looking like that okay and it's on this side hmm it's like, it's like oh my god people would react yeah because it's a sensitive also like there are words that you also do not mention at the occult mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. so that's that it's a little scary i know that this is obsession. This is someone who cannot let go. 
You know, it's like your mind. This is ownership. This is someone trying to bend. Okay? To bend someone's will. Okay? It doesn't need to be black M, but... Ooh, yo, yo, seven of swords. Now, this is on your side. Okay. And I told you, I wanted to, I want us to veer away from it, but of course the card will tell you the whole story. The devil magician with the seven of swords. This is someone who's a major, major liar. I'm not accusing the Capricorn, but the Capric it's in the Capricorn side. So you could be wanting someone and you're going to do everything and anything to have them. Okay, so this is smelling like a trouble, very much, very, very toxic, mm -hmm. it's very, very toxic. Because the magician now, it's using all the tricks, all the trade, every knowledge that, they, that this person is doing or you're doing, is to put that person bound, okay, to them. And they will just say all the things that the other person needs to hear. Lies, manipulation, everything. Let me see. Four of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here has walked away from partnership and the other person is being brought back. This person has walked into a new relationship. Can be a Taurus. This person got rejected. They're obsessing because this person chose someone else. Now they could have chose their career. They could have chose their family. But they have chose someone else for sure. And that's why the other person is going to do everything and anything in, you know, in the books to bring this person back this person got rejected when they offered the cup because this person is already thinking that someone else can make them happy mm -hmm. knight of pentacles with the ten of pentacles this is what they choose they choose a stable relationship instead of a codependent one someone basically realize that this energy right here with the devil is manipulative and they stop giving attention to it. A little tricky, huh? Very, very tricky situation here. Seven of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. Okay. Someone is waiting. And that's you though. You could be obsessively waiting for someone to come back towards you. This is one of those things. Like you know they're going to come back to you. You know that they're going to be yours at some point. Mm -hmm. get the five of wands and the five of pentacles so this person is totally ignoring them they don't want any part of this drama this person has a lot of drama okay so they ghosted this person they're not participating anymore mm -hmm. this is very troublesome read mm -hmm. i don't understand okay You get the Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Oh, see? This is an ex-lover right here. You are not decided whether to let go because you have so much memories with this person. You have so much love for this person. It become, it became an addiction. Addicted to love. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if there is a cure if you're addicted to love. If you have to go to... What do you call that? You have to go cold turkey. I had cold turkey. No, for lunch. <laughs> okay. You got a page of cups, the page of pentacles. Uh, yeah, this person 
will entertain this energy, but guarded. So this person is scared. They don't want to be part of any kind of codependent relationship. They're hurt by this person's action. Mm -hmm. Totally. They will communicate, yes, but they're just wanting to be like civil. Hey, let's talk, but nine of wands guards up. Okay? So this is what I can see a little bit, little bit, really like crazy. Mm -hmm. So this person still wants this person. Is they, they feel the bond, a strong connection, and they keep thinking about, this is my soulmate, this is my soulmate. So, you know, like that, obsessive, very much. Okay? So, I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box for the extended and everything that you need. It's going to be down there. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Capricorn. I know I tried to do as much positivity. I'm not sure what happened here. Thank you very much guys for watching. Bye. Welcome to my channel. We're doing a... Sorry, I'm a little giggly. Oh, hi. I'm serious though. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what's going on for my Capricorn. Well, planet-wise, nothing. This is April 1 to 15. I put your chart on the 15th, so... Expect, uh... Well, not that there's nothing. There's an activity in your second house, in your third house, in your fourth house. <laughs> in your fifth house. Oh, Mars is in Taurus. Um, hello, dating arena. You're gonna be a gladiator there, yeah. So, you know, like, there's a level of ex expectation for you to be more, um, if you're single, um, you're probably more active in dating, okay? If you are dating someone, expect a lot of sensual energy, a little bit touching, touching, between you and your person. Okay, here we go. Let's begin, though. Okay, let's see what's going on. Be careful with health, okay? You might get misdiagnosed. <laughs> Sorry. There's a chance. It will come from your mom. It will come from your mom, relatives. They will tell you something. So it's a misdiagnosis because you didn't get, you didn't go to a, uh, a clinic. Okay. So you did web MD. Good luck with that one. Here we go. You have a mole now. You already have a brain tumor. Basically, one mole becomes a brain tumor. Okay, that's WebMD right there. Here we go. Got the moon card. Mm, and I said Cancerian. What's up? What's up? And this, this is your seventh house. Isn't it not? But why, why was I picking up your... Um, I was picking up your fifth house. Then your seventh house. Oh, okay, because I was looking at it. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Don't worry. So there's a revelation that's coming with you to you over here. Um, but this time that I'm doing this reading, the moon is going to be in Leo, okay, on the 15th, um, and it's going to be already in Maga, so, a uh, secret about a Leo can come towards you, you might see them as someone is entitled, um, they might feel deserving of your love, um, but this can be you also if you have displacement, um, I feel that this, uh, this person's energy towards you, Capricorn, is, uh, um, are you? Have a little bit of um, not deceptive, but it's more of mysterious thrilling. Okay, so it's not like uh, watching Jason goes to hell. It's more like you know Jason goes to heaven. So something like that. So it's thrill-seeking energy that you're doing with dealing with this person. So something fun. You're not gonna get murdered. Nobody gets murdered here. Okay. So it's a fun kind of game. I'm not sure what kind of game you guys doing. It is exciting though. I can see it here. Hmm, the chariot. Look at that one. Another Cancerian card. So, can be the exciting energy is travel. The exciting energy is moving forward to the relationship. So, this is like Jason goes to heaven, definitely. I see because... <laughs> sorry. The reason why Jason goes to heaven is because Mars is in your fifth house. So, the intimacy between the two of you is just like, Dear Lord, Sal, I went off the roof all the way to heaven. Yes. So, meaning it's etherical, the connection, the intimacy. The person is deep loving, connected towards you. So when you guys are intimate, it's it hits the core besides the G-spot. We know we have to hit both, right, ladies, right? The G-spot and then the core of your feelings. So emotional connection or and, you know, that feeling of um, more connected to this person. So that's good. No wonder you're going to heaven. Now I know. Okay. <laughs> 
There are two swords. Why? Why are you doubting? Two swords here. You're trying to look at it or the situation. It's just like, do I really want to do this fast this time? Should I just embrace the energy with this person and just go with it? Um, with the two of swords. This is Shravana Nakshat for me. You know, the steps that you're doing to, towards um, creating the relationship is here also. You're asking yourself, I need time. I need to learn because, you know, it's like this emotion is just... Um, it's just like coming out of everywhere and you know as far as like your Capricorn energy of course you rely on stability of your emotion So you're trying to tell yourself it's like no, I need to be stable So you're trying to control your urge over here with the two of swords or they are Don't I think feel like you don't don't fight it um, because there's a fight a five of swords energy um, if you do this five of swords with the two of swords um you know, it's like if you take it too slow, the other person might get become impatient. If they are taking it slow, then you might just buzz this person's head and just tell them, it's like, listen, you know, it's like, um, you're done thinking. We know we have, um, you know, good connection with the moon card over here. We have deep bond over here. We want to be together with the chariot because we want to move it forward to the seventh house already. Why are you taking them slow? Mm-hmm. Because it's a potential fight. Someone wants to win the race also. So you're connecting with someone who likes you because you could be the prize for them at the same time. Oh, and a younger person. Very intimate, very phallic also. Prince of Wands. So the person has a lot of attraction towards you, Capricorn, vice versa. Okay, this is a messenger. I feel like they like a slow tease, you know. This is a person who sends you flirtatious messages. Um, but for you, you could be, you know, it's like, can we stop with the flirting, you know? You want me, you want emotional connection with me, then let's go there instead of flirting with me. So you don't like the roundabout where it's like this person is like trying to tiptoe even though both of you know already where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. With the Prince of Wands and the Five of Swords, this person's energy is, uh, how to say this? This is the winner card, you know? They always say, you know, it's like, I get what I want and what I want, I will get. So it can be a Jeshya Nakshatra or it can be also a the last degree of a Vishaka Nakshatra. So a person is very driven, very motivated, has a lot of energy also. This person, okay? So they don't accept a no, they don't accept defeat. You're connecting with someone, it's just like, by hook or by crook, I will win you. This is this person. Oh, no wonder you like it. It's like a kind of a chase, you know, being chased by Jason. Hopefully, it's not Freddy. Okay. We don't want to be chased by Freddy. Okay. So, I'm going to continue this reading as you go to heaven. Okay. They do say, you know, do all, all dogs go to heaven? I feel like Capricorn goes to heaven for this month. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Link down there in the description box. No pun intended when I call the dogs. Wink, wink. Okay. Link down there. Enjoy your day. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Okay, so the other person is really gonna put all their effort for you guys to be back together. Because this person has someone else ready. That's the emperor and empress together. So someone chooses to not reveal themselves anymore. The magician and ace of swords just wants, of course, hey, let's talk. Okay, but the other person.